Okay. Chapter 10, theory. theory. It's just a theory I have, but I don't know, I'm just Hermione Granger. I've read every book ever, and it's just a theory that I have that's absolutely correct. Oh no, a basilisk! Ah! He's a vampire, or worse, Expelled. Expelled. <laughs> hey. hey! Hi guys, what's up? Miss us? I bet. So, they're in the car driving back home from their dinner date at the Italian restaurant in Port Angeles. You know, the one. Edward says that he can't hear her thoughts. And Bella immediately thinks, my mind doesn't work right? She asked, her voice rising. I'm a freak! Ah, <laughs> uh, the, the irony, irony again. again. I hear voices in my mind and you're worried that you're the freak? <laughs> Which is also, Edward, this is problematic in schizophrenic erasure. Then Bella suddenly sees the dashboard and says, Holy crow! Which is not a phrase that anyone I know uses. I've only heard of this phrase in this book. <laughs> Incorrect animal, okay? No, yeah. It's holy cow. Holy moly. Holy ravioli. Holy cannoli, Italiano. Yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> holy sh <laughs> just, it just, but holy crow just sounds wrong. There's no like emotion behind it's, saying the word crow. It's well, it's very Edgar Allan Poe, right? <laughs> it's very like holy crow, nevermore. <laughs> holy raven, quoth the raven. Um, holy, holy crow. crow. <laughs> <laughs> Above that chamber door, daddy. <laughs> She's like, well, all right, I'll tell you my final theory. But like. You can't get mad. Don't be mad. Don't be, Don't mad. be mad. But if you're mad, like, I do deserve to be punished and, like, I'll let you punish me. <laughs> For real. She's like, okay, um, you're, you, I'm afraid you'll be angry with me. Go ahead, he encourages. Okay, well, I was on the beach on Saturday and, um, I was talking to this family friend called Jacques Obla. His dad's one of the Kulu leader elders. And he's like, oh, uh, Okay, it's my worst nightmare. <laughs> she knows. Yeah, puts it together immediately. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, don't get mad, okay? He's like, I won't get mad. She's like, what if I'm right? He's like, okay, well, that's a different matter entirely. <laughs> I hate it when women are right. <laughs> I'm always mad when women are right. I have to be most astute one in relationship or what? How relationship? Yeah, have you seen how I behave around Rosalie and Alice? I'm the worst. I hate them. And then he's like, but... If she learned the truth Saturday, then she'd known it all evening long. And yet, we went for a walk and he was trying to scare me, so he told me a story. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> I said, about vampires. She breathed the words less than a whisper. He goes, and you immediately thought of me. And she's like, no. They literally mentioned you and your by family name. by name, okay? <laughs> He's like, am I that fangy? He's like, was it that obvious? <laughs> First of all, yes. Second of all, um, you're cornered, bro. <laughs> She's gotcha. They mentioned your family, and he's like, the treaty! They broke it. <laughs> it's broken beyond repair. She says, I got Jacob alone, and I tricked it out of him. Her expression looked guilty. And he's like, tricked him how? She goes, I tried to flirt. It works better than I thought it would. She's like, I Boys know. Boys usually don't respond to me in any way whatsoever. Yeah, like, I only got asked to the dance by five guys. I know that every boy in school wants me, and I'm literally the center of attention always, but I didn't think that a guy would actually like, like me. me. Jessica with the big jugs got Je turned down, got and she's a flirting expert. And she's got big titties. And who am I? Me. All I have are tea eyes. <laughs> All I have are tea eyes and this blouse. <laughs> tea eyes and this boner blue blouse. Yeah, she tried to flirt, but boys hate her, so it shouldn't have worked. But it did. That's so crazy. Edward's like, I could just imagine, considering the attraction she seemed to hold for all things male, totally all things male on her part. What are, what are things male? <laughs> Truck, <laughs> beer, um, wrestle, football, pussy. But you know, if you're a girl, you can like them too. And if you're a non-binary human, you can like them too. Because there aren't, things are not male things. Yeah. And things are not. Female, female things. And things are things. Things are things and you can be whatever you want. Period. And you can like whatever you want. Period. And just because you're one thing doesn't mean you have to like another. Period. And just because you like one thing doesn't mean you're something else. Period. So live your life, live your truth. You're gorgeous. Love you. I could only imagine how overwhelming she would be when she tried to be attractive. I was suddenly full of pity for the unsuspecting boy she'd unleashed such a potent force on. You won't feel that way for long, buddy. You're not gonna like Jacob Black one <laughs> bit in about a book and a half. And then he says, I'd have liked to have seen that. And you accused me of dazzling people. 
poor Jacob Black. Oh, he is poor. <laughs> <laughs> Not rich like me who can just f spend a grand on one mushroom ravioli <laughs> and two Cokes. Edward, eat the rich Cullen. <laughs> Edward, insider trading. <laughs> <laughs> when you have a psychic as a sister, you're gonna rig the stock market and honestly, I, I would. <laughs> yeah, I would. would you not do that? Edward says, you don't care if I'm a monster? If I'm not human? And Bella's like, no. no. She's like, so I know. And uh, I decided. I dig off. <laughs> I dig off. I decided it doesn't matter. I wish I gave a single sh Yeah, I like you for you. And also like kind of because you're a monster. Yeah, like you're kind of just like knocking it out of the park in every aspect. I like of it what when you me on, yeah, boy. you sneak up behind me and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> She's like, I decided it didn't matter. And he says through his teeth with anger filling him, it didn't matter. How was I supposed to protect someone so, 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 so determined to be unprotected? She's like, okay, I told you not to get mad and now you're mad. And he says, no, I'd rather know what you're thinking, even if what you're thinking is insane. When she is correct, Edward. She is correct. Yeah. You're gaslighting her. She's correct. He says, I started to wonder if she was entirely stable. I suppose that I could arrange for her to receive the best care available. Carlisle, who is a fake doctor, would have the connections to find her the most skilled doctors, the most talented therapists. Perhaps something could be done to fix whatever it was that was wrong with her. Whatever it was that made her so content to sit beside a vampire with her heart be beating calmly and steadily. I would watch over the facility naturally and visit as often as she allowed. He's literally like, send her to an institution, get her in a straitjacket, this woman is insane. She's gonna get there and be like, hey, my boyfriend's a vampire. And they're gonna be like, no, you're crazy. And then he's gonna visit as often as she allows, just walk in and she'll be like, that's him, that's the vampire boyfriend. And he'll be like, ah crazy. She's this one. She's crazy. Okay. Oh, Did you oh. take your pills today? Okay. He's just a normal guy. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, DJ Garrett's over on the other bed being like, he is, I swear. <laughs> She's like, so I'm wrong again? And he goes, that's not what I was referring to. It doesn't matter. She you like Krabby Patties, <laughs> don't you, Squidward? You like Krabby Patties, don't you, Squidward? <laughs> You're a vampire, aren't you, Edward? Edward? She goes, I'm right? He goes, <laughs> does it matter? And then she's like, no, no, I no, I told you that so many times. We're getting into the iconic scene. Yeah, where he actually says what he is. They go over it. Um, and I hate how they did it in the movie. The, in the movie, they, it's this like super tense in the woods confrontation, and it's like all tense and breathy and like. And we've got the scared. blocking of like a, a sitcom, not a sitcom, but a soap opera where. <sighs> They can't look at each other. <laughs> no. Ah. This is a cute drive home from a date in the car and she's wearing his jacket and she's holding herself and smelling it and smiling because they're having a fun flirty time. Yeah. And we're gonna do it how it was intended to be performed. Intended, because this is not like the movie at all and this is how it should have been, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm Bella. I'm Edward. Here we go. I mean, I'm Edward. What are you curious about? I asked her. There were no secrets left, only minor details. How old are you? She asked. My answer was automatic and ingrained. 17. How long have you been 17? I tried not to smile at her patronizing tone. A while, I admitted. Okay, she said, abruptly enthusiastic. She smiled up at me. When I stared back, anxious again about her mental health, she smiled <laughs> wider. I frowned. Anyway, it's just so cute. She's literally like poking him. She's like, okay, and how long have you been? 17. And he's like, oh, she's so astute. <laughs> she got me. Yes! And now it's uh, Twilight Mythbusters edition. This is the vampire lore of the Twilight Saga. <laughs> Hit the music. How can you come out during the daytime? Myth. I told her. Burned by the sun? Myth. Sleeping in coffins? Myth. And then we hear him say, I can't sleep. At all? She asks. Never. I breathed as I met her penetrating gaze. <laughs> I abruptly yearned for sleep, not for oblivion as I had before. <laughs> yeah, not not for death, not for death, not Just for the, not for the forever sleep. But because I wanted to dream. Oh. Maybe if I could be unconscious, if I could dream, I could live for a few hours in a world where she and I could be together. She dreamed of me. I wanted to dream of her. Oh, he wants to be human so, so bad. bad. She stared at me, her expression full of wonder. I had to look away. Too much wonder. I could not dream of her. 
She should not dream of me. <sighs> My main complaint about Edward in general before even this book is just the fact that he's always like, I love you so much and like I'm telling you all of my secrets and then he's like, never speak to me again. This is the worst thing ever. Now that she knows, she may as well know all the nitty gritty, all the dirty details. And he's like, okay, um, you still haven't asked me the most important question. Uh, you aren't concerned about my diet? And Bella goes, oh, that. Oh, uh, that. Yes, yes that. <laughs> yes, that. <laughs> Don't you want to know if I drink blood? And she's like, well, um, my cute little friend Jacob had a little something to say about that too. And he's like, what did Jacob say? He said, you didn't hunt people. He said your family wasn't supposed to be dangerous because you only hunted animals. And he's like, he said we weren't dangerous? And she's like, okay, no, chill. He said you weren't supposed to be dangerous. <laughs> Semantics. He's like, we are still dangerous, but we try. That's all I ever do is I try. I try not to eat people. I try to be your friend. I, I promised that we would try to bang on our honeymoon, but no promise as sometimes we make mistakes. Me, for example, allowing myself to be alone with you. And, and she's like, this was a mistake? She's like, ouch. <laughs> it's wrong for me to be alone with you. So you don't like hanging out with me. Okay. She's like, why did you save my life? He's like, I don't know. She's like, so you wish I was dead right now? <laughs> she's like, why haven't you been in school all week? And he's, he's like, like, oh, we got back on Sunday. And she's like, what? You got back on Sunday? Then where you been? And he was like, well, you asked me if the sunlight hurts and it doesn't, but like, uh, you know, we'll get to that later. But like, that's why I wasn't at school. She's like, okay, well, um, you might have called me. And he's like, I don't have your number. Yeah, he's like, do we call each other? Since when? Like, well, that would be weird. We just started trying to be friends. Like, if I called you, wouldn't you be like, hello? And it's like, oh, hey, it's Edward. Just giving you a call to let you know I won't be in school next week. She'd be like, freak. Yeah, she would have been like, why? Okay. Worse, Charlie would have picked up. You would have been like, <coughs> Swan Residence. <laughs> Who is this? Police Chief. Police Chief, Chief Charlie. <laughs> For and all your policing needs. What an yeah. odd conclusion. He, but I knew you were safe. Even but Edward's like, what an odd conclusion. Uh, I knew you were safe. And she's like, yeah, but I didn't know where you were. I didn't like it. Not seeing you. It makes me anxious too. Edward's like, are you happy now? Here was my reward for hoping. Edward, your reward for hoping is getting validation in everything you yeah, want. Getting everything you want. She wanted. knows the truth. She's totally cool with it. In fact, it kind of makes her horny. You're getting everything you want. Why can't you be happy? Oh, because of the, the prophecy. prophecy. Oh. <laughs> I keep forgetting that well, she's yeah. going to die. And we didn't know that in all the other Twilight books, which again, it's like literally, why can't we just enjoy uh, this? Bella cares for him too. Huzzah. Hooray. And he's like, great. Keep it light. No. Ah, I grow into myself. This is wrong. Don't you see, Bella? It's one thing for me to make myself miserable, but a wholly other thing for you to be so involved. It's wrong. It's not safe. I'm dangerous, Bella. Please grasp that. Please. No. Her lips pouted out stubbornly. <laughs> no. I like you, and I'm gonna like you. Mm. And you like me too. So yeah. suck it. Mm. My blood, please. <laughs> I want it. Bella's like, listen, I told you, it doesn't matter what you are. It's too late. And he's like, never say that. <gasps> too late? Never say that. They're going on a date in the future, like, to a movie. And he's like, oh, do you think we could catch the 10.05? And she's like, oh, no, I don't think so. I think it's too late. And he's like, never say that. <laughs> the Biba. Biba, we're going to miss the 7.10. <laughs> she's like, Oh, okay. And like looks out the window and then he's like, what? 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 She shook her head without looking at him. I saw something glisten <gasps> like a crystal on her cheek. Agony. <laughs> Are you crying? <laughs> I'd made her cry. I'd hurt her that much. And Bella's like, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, she lied. She hates lying. Number one, least favorite thing other than double standards. Lying. No. no. She lied. No. Tell me something. Yes. <laughs> what were you thinking tonight? Just before I came around the corner, I couldn't understand your expression. She said, I was trying to remember how to incapacitate an attacker. You know, self-defense. <laughs> She's like, break its friggin' nose. <laughs> She's like, uh, everything I learned in self-defense class, I was just recalling because uh, I'm a woman and experience is a nightmare. Yeah. So I was uh, preparing to defend myself in this situation the way that I have literally been trained to. Yeah. And then Edward's like, didn't you think about running? And she's like, 
I fall down a lot when I run. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so clumsy. clumsy. Yeah. They're sitting in the driveway being cute and silent. Like, Will I see you tomorrow? She demanded <laughs> abruptly. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, I have a paper due too. He did the paper, Mike didn't do the paper. Mike didn't do the paper. <laughs> oh yeah. She's like, and I already went on a date with him. That's like, check, check. <laughs> do you promise to be there tomorrow? She insisted, cause you never break a promise. And he says, I promise. And then her heart fluttered. My dead heart felt warmer. Oh, 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 oh. She's like taking the jacket off to give it back and he's like, no, 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 keep it, no. Please keep it. I like the way it I looks. want you to keep it. I have your lemonade cap, like please come on jacket. <laughs> now you have a souvenir too. She's like, yeah, but if I like am wearing a random man's jacket, my dad is gonna be like, what the f If I bring home an adult man's tan leather jacket cause you dress like an adult grown man, <laughs> yes, 17 year old, my dad's gonna be like, what, what adult man are you hooking up with? So he's like, Bella, will you promise me something? And she's like, yeah. And he's like, don't go into the woods alone. And she's like, why? She blinks. Why? He goes, I'm not always the most dangerous thing out there. Let's leave it at that. She's like, what is in my woods? <laughs> ah! So they do the thing that's like, you hang up. No, you hang up, except it's saying goodbye because they say it like 500 times. Her breath touched my face. So sweet. Oh, it smells great. Thank you. She turns and runs to go back to the house and she's like, okay, I guess this is it, bye. And then he's like, Bella. Yes? Sleep well. <sighs> very so cute, inside. very romantic, not spooky at all. We're literally flirting, it's amazing. She's she's six inches, no, she's like six what, tiny things away from the most beautiful face that- Centimeters? <laughs> I don't know, tinier than that. Like, they're so close. Millimeters? I don't know, tinier than that. Atoms. <laughs> Atoms. From the most beautiful person that she's ever seen in her life. Like, just picture it. Whoever that is to you. And their face is, like, right there. And he likes you. <laughs> Edward gets home. He pulls up in the driveway and he goes in the house because he needs to talk to Carlisle about the murderous rage he still feels for Lanny. I don't sleep at night, so I got what a few hours to kill. Do? I got a few hours to kill. <gasps> oh! Alice is sitting on the porch waiting for him and uh, he pulls to a stop and he just walks past her. She's like, so Bella took it pretty well, huh? And he's like, I guess. And then she's like, don't underestimate Bella. And Edward's like, stay out of it, Alice. <laughs> he blocks out an image he didn't want to see. Bella and Alice, best of friends. <laughs> Ew. He's like, oh, that would suck. <laughs> Anything but that. He goes upstairs to Carlisle's study and he's like, Okay, so this guy's gonna rape and kill somebody else if it wasn't Bella and he's still out on the streets and that can't be right. So since I can't kill him, will you kill him? And Carlisle's like, no, but I can get him arrested. <laughs> and honestly, any run in with police, it's like ultimately there's a significant chance you could die. So you know what? The odds are on our side. Let's get him. Yeah. Come on. Carlisle grabs his doctor bag and says, let's go! His black doctor bag that all the doctors have. Carlisle goes back to Port Angeles to hunt down this guy and Edward helps him find the guy and then Carlisle's like, I'll take it from here. You can like go back to Bella. And he's like, thanks daddy. And he runs back to Port. What a bro. And he climbs back into Bella's room and he's thinking about like fate and destiny. And I think this is such a good point as to how fated they are to be together. She was formed in such a fashion that there was no way I could possibly overlook her. A ridiculously potent scent to demand my attention. A silent mind to inflame my curiosity. A quiet beauty to hold my eyes. A selfless soul to earn my awe. And it's like, uh, no, that's so sexy. What a romantic like description. That's I know. Her, like all these little unspoken things about her that are like literally these are just traits of yours that I fucking can't get over. I like, mean, this is this one's my favorite. A ridiculously potent scent to demand my attention. Like he can't look away. Like that's so hot. Like you're at the party and like at a, a party at the party. You're at the party. <laughs> you're so hot that you demand his attention. That's so hot. So, so hot. hot. Like demands is it like he can't think about anything else. He literally when he gets that thing up his nosies. He literally has not thought of anything since she walked into his life but her. Yeah. So then she moans his name in her sleep again and he's like, Thank God it, it was wasn't Hugh Edmund. Grant. <laughs> he's like, fine. I can't be her guardian angel. So why don't I be her guardian vampire? I protect, I attack, mm -hmm. and I will not make Bella a snack. <gasps> Cute! Yeah, it's a good run. Oh, 
Off the cuff? Off the cuff. My god. Bitch. The talent. Click the next video, please. Keep it going. <laughs>